Hey guys, just wanted to uh, check in with you and sort of go over an idea that seems like it should be a simple uh, problem with a simple solution and strangely enough it's not and it's basically dealing with the optimization of routes and how all the stops kind of come together um, and, and you're going in this nice geographically optimized loop as opposed to just driving all over the place and so you would think that that would be an easy thing, just plug it into Google Maps or MapQuest with one of those route planners. But when you go to those websites, uh, you'll notice that they stop like around 20, 30 stops or so. And the reason why is because it becomes unbelievably computationally complex to be able to loop those uh, stops and be able to get you an optimized uh, solution there. And so <clears throat> when it becomes... Uh, as complex as it is, it slows things down. It also becomes uh, somewhat of an impossibility. And so you have to basically hack your way through this uh, to be able to get an idea. And it's, and it's really, if you, ever, if, if you really want to geek out on it, which uh, uh, I'm sure some of us want to do, you can go and see this thing called the traveling salesman problem. And this is basically saying that for it to truly uh, go through and optimize, uh, or for a computer to go through and optimize everything, it essentially has to be uh, gone through by every single combination that's possible. And when you start to do that, it, it becomes it becomes quite a mathematical nightmare. If anyone wants to, uh, you know, explain all this here for me, uh, I'm more than happy to not listen to it because we're not going to get it all figured out, and it's going to be hacked up anyways. And so the point is, is that there are a few pieces of software out there that have uh, tried to get this thing done. And one of them, uh, I'm not going to mention their name or anything because God bless them, they're trying to help out people. And um, if they're going to try to do it, fantastic. But let me just show you what a bad optimization would look like. It looks good, but you have to sit there and really kind of go through the numbers. So I'm going to go, like you can see my mouse here, I'm on 73, 74, so I've passed this road. I'm down here on 74, and then I go back to 75, and then I'm around here 76. This makes sense. you got to go down 77, and then we're 78. Well, he's up here. I'm already passing 74 again, so I should have either left 74 alone or done it earlier, or what if I did did 74, I should have come up and done 78, 79, and 80. That makes sense. So even here... <clears throat> and whenever we come out of here, we're coming down. All right, that all makes sense here. And we get to, uh, actually, we're over here, up, up at 81. Okay, fine. We skip 83, that's fine. We're just going to get it on the way out. This is not a bad optimization here. It's just getting 83 on the way out. So you get 83, and then we've got to go all the way down, back to 84, and then 85, Okay, well, maybe there's more part of the route over here or something. You had to go that way, but you don't. Instead, it wanted you to go all the way up here to the 82s, 83, down to 84, and then right back where you were to get to 86 and beyond. This is typically what we see, and it takes some time to be able to spot these problems because they're not, they're not, you can't just eyeball it and it's like, oh, that looks good or it looks bad. It's very subtle and it takes some time to really to see. And one of the big things from FedEx is what they used to do is have these things called the turn by turns, which is where they would essentially print out this manifest in the morning. It would look very similar to, to what you're seeing here and, um, <clears throat> and it would work and it would work a lot of the times. The problem is, is that <clears throat> maybe it would only not work once every two weeks, which sounds great. But whenever you start to realize that you are having service failures or you are showing up late for a delivery or a pickup or something like that once every two weeks, you suck. You, you can't do that. And so <clears throat> you got to make sure that that's not even a possibility. And so the old school way of doing things and kind of the way that it's done a lot of times is you've got to be able to have these things sort of mentally memorized. And there's techniques and tricks to that too. Proper training for people uh, that I, I, I've never really seen done so much outside of the, you know, really old schoolers and, and myself and some things like that to, uh, to really teach people how to do that. That's not what we're really talking about. We're talking about trying to get away from this because as people go from owning <clears throat> two, three, five routes or something like that, <clears throat> 
which used to be much more common 10 years ago. And now we're seeing the average route owner on somewhere around 10 uh, or even more routes. Well, you can't sort of get that level. It, it, it's kind of like trying to uh, systematize ways so that you can start to scale. And when you do that, we've really got to lean on software. And so that's whenever I started to look out there for some other solutions. And granted, people come to me and say, hey, will you endorse this product? No, I'm not going to endorse something that I don't believe in. Um, there's no benefit just for me to do that. There's no benefit for, for you guys. And so I think that the biggest thing here um, it, it is that we at least get this problem under control, at least to a certain degree. The cool thing is, and I'm not going to mention the, the place that, that did this um, poorly, because I don't want to, um, you know, uh, sort of like make them feel like they should give up, because who knows, maybe they come out with something fantastic. Again, I think that if people are out there trying to uh, help some other people get some problems solved, uh, we need encouragement more than trying to to say that these people are bad and you know i don't do that kind of stuff anyway the point is <clears throat> is ground cloud which i will mention by name does a fantastic and unbelievable job of doing this and i look through 20 30 entire routes 80 to 100 stops to being able to uh to see how it really performed and if it screws up if it screws up a little bit here and there gosh you know what that's okay um but honestly i could you know if i was doing this route now, granted, we are uh, sort of making pickups and time constraints and these sorts of things, a little bit of the exception. Ground Cloud actually deals with trying to solve some of those issues as well. My biggest thing is that no one's ever even been able to optimize the route, much less be able to get into the right uh, the sequence in terms of the time and the constraints and, oh, you need to be here between 3 and 5 p.m. Who cares? That doesn't even matter if they can't get the routes optimized to begin with. Well... The routes in a plain, simple optimization look uh, impressive. And so, <clears throat> anyway, let me show you ground cloud here. This is uh, what it looks like for ground cloud. And I'll show you here. This starts off at stop one, two, three. That looks fine. And it looks like you skip 199. You don't actually, because you're going to hit those on the way out of this uh, whole territory here. But two, three, four. And then you've got five here, which you've got to go in there. You've got to get to six here. And then it looks like, oh, I skipped 97, 98. Well, technically, you could basically knock those out. But if you're leaving out of the route anyway, you're going to hit that, and it's going to be you either getting it in the way in or getting it on the way out. That doesn't concern me so much. Now, you may say, look, I really want to be able to deliver 97 and 98 so these customers get the packages delivered early in the morning as opposed to late in the afternoon. That's fine, and you can be able to, uh, to mentally process that very, very easily versus uh, the difficulty of, uh, my God, this route, you know, this stop doesn't even belong in this entire area and, you know, botched up uh, route optimizations that we, that we typically see. And so anyway... Uh, going up here, uh, we were at five, six, we've got seven, eight, nine. This all makes sense because it's right up in there on that road. And then we've got 10, which is hiding behind 11 here, 11, 12, 13, going through there, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Got to go hit 20 and on the way out, sure, we've got 21, 22, 23. All these look great. And I actually went through all of these stops and continued on, and it looks pretty fantastic. Uh, so... I actually reached out to the owner and creator of Ground Cloud and uh, said, look, I'm impressed. Uh, I remembered when they had started up years and years ago because I uh, have been in this uh, industry for a while now. And uh, they've grown and done some really cool stuff. And I, I reached out to, to him recently, super friendly guy, um, and uh, said, look, I'm happy to... Uh, interview you and uh and let people know that you've got something that that needs to be known about needs to be seen and uh hopefully we're going to have that interview up here in the next uh, couple weeks or so we'll see uh how long it takes me to get everything uh set up and ready and edited and all that kind of good stuff so anyway um really excited for you to see this i think it's going to be fantastic for a couple of reasons and one of the biggest reasons is that earlier when contractors first got started in FedEx, you could kind of like, 
you could kind of deliver things not so uh, efficiently and not worry about your cost. There was like so much money coming into the business that you could kind of botch it up and it was it was it was still like you were in a spot to where you could still be profitable. And definitely route to, routes can be run somewhat inefficiently and things like that. Yeah, it takes a guy a couple hours later. Oh, he burns a little bit extra fuel. Oh, it's a little bit more maintenance. Sure, it's not good, but it's not the end of the world. I think in the future, I think it will start to matter. And I think that the difference between people using um, good software and good managerial techniques and good route optimizations and things like this will probably be the difference uh, between being very successful and maybe, maybe, depending upon the route, the route types, what they were paid to begin with, whether they're urban, a suburban, rural, all these sorts of things. But I think that we're going to start to see uh, chances of routes not being profitable. I think for the majority of the, all the FedEx contractors out there, they are pretty much running profitably right now. Let me just throw out a, a, a pretend number because I don't know for every single person's individual amounts, but let's pretend that 98% of FedEx contractors are successful and profitable. Um, I think in the future that number is going to increase. Now, on one side, you could be like, oh gosh, it's getting terrible. On the other side, no, no, no. Just say, hey, those are the people that are not paying attention, that are not trying to learn and trying to do things uh, in a better and more efficient sort of way. Um, or, or at least as most efficient as possible because not every time and not every decision that we make is the most efficient in this business. That's a, another important concept and I'll probably talk about that later. But the point is, is that <clears throat> I think that, um, I think it's going to be really important. And um, again, I'm, I'm really excited to, uh, to be able to share this stuff with you guys, be able to get you on the lookout for certain things that seem like they should be easy, like route optimization and realize that it's not. And realize that even if it does seem like it's working out pretty well for a week or two weeks at a time, failing completely on a single day um, or failing twice a month tremendously because of being over reliant on these optimizations, that's not a recipe that you want to brew up one bit. You don't want to see what happens and try to say, oh, well, let me see if FedEx will do this or that or what. Don't. Just get it delivered, <laughs> just do the best you can. And uh, let's start exploring these things. And uh, anyway, uh, I, I'm super excited. We'll, uh, we'll stay tuned and uh, hopefully I'll get that uh, interview with the uh, owner of Ground Cloud up real soon and uh, we'll be able to check it out. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for you guys. Take care.